talk about where log HDL. Basically, first we will start with HDL, then we will proceed how we come to very log HDL. So basically, HDL stands for Hardware Description Language. Now, what is Hardware Description Language? abbreviated as HDLs. Hardware description language is a language through which you design digital circuits. Circuits such as half adder, full adder, multiplexer and many other combinational or sequential circuits. Examples of HDLs are very long HDL, VHDL. Both of these languages are majorly used to design digital circuits. Here we are giving preference to Verilog HDL. The reason for going into Verilog HDL is that Verilog HDL is user friendly, similar to C programming and the concepts are much more easier to understand. Not only VHDL is also easier to understand but on a comparison point of view if you see Verilog HDL is more user friendly. Now coming towards Verilog HDL, you people now know Verilog HDL is a hardware description language that is used to design digital circuits. Verilog has been given a special privilege by IEEE that is nothing but it is standardized by it as IEEE 136. Now when you are writing a Verilog HDL code there are four modeling techniques or you can also say as styles through which you write the Verilog HDL code. So basically which are named as gate level modeling, second one is data flow modeling third one is behavioral modeling another one is switch level so these are the four modeling techniques or the levels of abstraction through which you can write a very long HDL code so that we can generate a logical design. Today we will be concentrating about gate level modeling. Gate level modeling means implementation of the module in terms of logic gate and their interconnections. So before moving into the modeling of gate level, I would firstly like to say the two important prospectors of writing a Verilog code that is nothing but first thing is the logical circuit, other thing is the truth table. Now we will learn the gate level modeling by considering a simple example of an AND gate that is nothing but two inputs A, B and output C. We also need to have a knowledge of its truth table 2 that is nothing but A, B and the output C is nothing but inputs is nothing but the output 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. The output is 0, 0, 0. Now these are the two things 
on which we'll be writing the Virilog code. And the Virilog code is basically divided into two parts. One is you call it the Virilog module code, and then one is the test bench. So first we'll start with the Virilog module, and later when we go into the test bench part, I'll be declaring you how to write that also. Now first, Verilog module code, also called as description also. Instead of code, you can also write the word description. Now, start with module, write any name, such as I will take it as my underscore and followed by outputs comma inputs c comma a comma b then assign the inputs input a comma b and assign the output output c then since it's an and gate and is a primitive that a very lot code will understand so just specify and outputs comma input module has started, module needs to be ended. So, end module. And one more thing, if you write the name of the module as only and, this will be taken as a primitive and it will lead to an error. So, while mentioning the name of the module, specify a name that is not a primitive. So, when you execute this part, we will be attaining an output this. So, the process of writing a Verilog module code in order to attain the logical diagram is nothing but referred as synthesis. synthesis. Now, when we have obtained the logical diagram, it becomes a necessary to whether see whether it works logically as per the given inputs or not. So, this process is called as testing. That is nothing but called as test bench. The code what you write is called test bench. Now we'll write that part. Also called as simulation or simulation program or sometimes also called as stimulus. Now, start with a module. Write a name that is different to the previous program. Here I will take my underscore and underscore test because I am testing the answer. You can take any name of your convenience also. Here, the output should be specified as wire and the input as register. So, wire C, register represented by REG inputs, A comma B. Now, write the name of the program that which we have previously written, that is nothing but module program, that is nothing but my underscore and okay, followed by UUT followed by output comma input UUT means unit under test means the unit of AND gate which we have developed using synthesis is being under test with respect to its outputs followed by its input now we will initialize the assignment of the inputs by initial statement then proceed with begin statement and here now we'll start assigning the inputs hash 100 this shows a delay of 100 nanoseconds the reason of providing this delay is that when you go to practical circuits you see a delay is there so in order to maintain that practicality over here in simulation, we show this delay over here. So hash 100, A is equals to 0, B is equals to 0. First input. Similarly, hash 100, A is equals to 0, B is equals to 1. Hash 100, 
a is equals to 1, b is equals to 0. Further on the last input, hash 100, a is equals to 1, b is equals to 1. Whenever you use an initial or begin statement, it's necessary for you to use an end statement. And to end the module, end module. So this ends your test bench. So all these inputs will be assigned and the outputs will be seen. So it should logically verify this. For this circumstance, this. For this instance, this. And simultaneously for the others. So you'll be obtaining the result of this in the form of a timing diagram. Such as, if you take A, this is 0 part, and your B is 0, your output will also be 0. Similarly, if your output is A, this will be better, 1, your output B is also 1. Your output C will also be 1. So this is the timing diagram you will be able to see simultaneously as you go on with respect to your inputs. I am showing with taking one one input so that will be clear to you. So this procedure of obtaining that is nothing but logically verifying the inputs is nothing but referred as simulation, simulation, test bench or stimulus. So now through gate level modeling we are able to do synthesis, we are able to do simulation. Not only in all the modeling techniques, also we will be doing the same thing, but the approach of writing the style will be different. That's why they have been given in different modeling techniques. In the further classes, we will be showing you about different modeling techniques. Thank you.